Hello, today I'll be doing a question and answer session. I've been tagged by a fellow YouTuber and I've seen that so many YouTubers have been doing this in their channel. I'm privileged to have been tagged by Cynthia Pretty J. Yeah, we've been together for some time now. Since I've been on YouTube, we've been very close friends and she tagged me. She wants to know more about me and i know a lot of you have actually been asking questions about me you want to know about me so today i'll be answering your questions so stay tuned so i'll just dive into the video very quickly i'll actually like you to keep in touch so do well to subscribe to this channel and i would like to know your comments i would like to know what you think about this video of mine so I'll go straight to the questions. The first question is, what is your real name and where are you from? The name of my channel is actually Earl and Ava and those are the names of my children. My first child is Earl while my second child is Ava. So I know a lot of persons have been thinking this must be my name and my husband's name. No they are my children's name because they actually motivated me to open my channel so my real name is blessing that's my real name yeah that's my real name and i'm from nigeria yeah i'm from nigeria i mean nigerian once i look like one proudly nigerian how many kids would you like to have because of the situation of the world you know we don't know what tomorrow would be you know we don't know how tomorrow is going to be like and you know i'm in nigeria and in this country i see a lot of persons giving birth to so many children and i wonder what are you thinking why are you giving birth to so many children you know I don't I don't know why I think if possible if you, you can actually stay without children it's very very okay yeah it's okay but for me I think maximum amount of children you should have because of my experience in life I would say two kids are enough seriously maximum three if if you think you want to have many children I think three children are many so if I, I think just the two I have right now, they are enough for me. I don't, I really don't see any need to have too many children, you know. It's, it's better for you to give birth to the amount of children that you can actually take care of. Yeah, if you cannot take care of them, so why give birth to them? I think before giving birth to children, we should first of all consider how much do I earn? Ask, we should ask ourselves, how much do I earn? Can I actually take care of them? You should also consider the emotional effect of having so many children, having to take care of all of them. They will have different needs at different times. So to me, I think two kids are enough, maximum three. If, probably because I want um, each child to relate with more than one sibling, three maximum. The third question is, if someone slapped you as a Christian, will you retaliate hmm hmm slap slap like i'll say it depends on the person that slapped me and the reason the person slapped me if somebody slaps me because of something irrelevant my sister i will not think twice no seriously i know i'm a christian yeah spell i might not slap back though I not slap the person back but let's be real if there was nothing to warrant the slap hot slap like time theory of the one the person gave me but if for example the person slapped me for example because I was maybe I said something bad to my mom and someone related to me slaps me I will not retaliate. It depends on the situation though. It depends. I can slap. I might not slap. Okay, question number four. 
as a mother do you have preferences for your children hmm this is a tough one do you know why because kids can be stubborn like some are more stubborn than others like both of my kids are not the same one um cries a lot i don't want to mention <laughs> their names one cries a lot while the other one is very calm you know <laughs> i would say i love them for what they are personally i was kind of i wouldn't i wouldn't want to use the word stubborn you know <laughs> um i used to cry a lot when i was little so I don't expect less from any child. When a child cries, it's a normal thing. At this level, my kids are, it's normal for them to cry. I think that's the only difficult thing about um, being a mom, plus the fact that they can scribble on the wall, they can destroy things in the house, they do a lot of things that parents might not like, they do a lot of things that I don't find pleasant but i love them both equally equally like i love them so so much equally i love them for their uniqueness they are unique the way they are no two persons can be equal so no two two kids can also be equal so i love my children equally with time i'll get to know what they'll grow up to become but I will always, always love them equally, no discrimination. So question number five, describe your character. Are you hot tempered? Hmm. <laughs> Do I look hot tempered? If you watch my videos, you will see that I have this calmness in me. It's a natural thing. Like I will say, um, an outspoken person when I'm in a crowd I can be very quiet mm -hmm. and I tolerate a lot I can tolerate a lot of things without anybody knowing but there is a limit to everything there's an adage that says when you deal too much with a goat the goat can bite so I can actually retaliate when someone treats me badly. Yeah. Everybody gets angry because there is a limit to what everybody can tolerate. But I'm, I wouldn't say I'm hot tempered. I'm not hot tempered. I'm not. I'm a very sweet soul, a very sweet person, I tell you. Question number six. If your personality is an animal, what animal would you be? If my personality was an animal, what animal would I be? Okay. I think I will be a lioness. Yeah. That's what I think I would be. Because I'm bold. Um, I dare to do things that no one thinks I could do. Yeah, yeah. I do that. I do things. There are some things I risk doing as um, a female. There are some things I've done that I've accomplished that you think, oh, she's so calm. She cannot accomplish them. You don't expect me to dare to do them. I actually do them. So I think I would be a lioness. Question number seven. Have you cheated or have you been cheated on? There are different kinds of cheating, you know. You could cheat in a market. You could cheat on your spouse okay you could cheat by lying there are different kinds of cheating okay when it comes to relationship if that's what you mean if you're asking me if i've cheated in a relationship before <laughs> oh my goodness 
I don't I, I've never done that. No. I've never cheated in a relationship before and I've never cheated on anyone before because I think in this um life because in this life I believe being genuine is one of the secrets to making it in life. You cannot expect the blessings of God when you are not true to others. In life, you have to be true to yourself and be true to others. I've never cheated. Yeah. Question number eight. What was your most embarrassing moment? Oh my God. If I told you what came to my mind right now, you would ask me to please end the video. Most embarrassing moment. Oh my gosh. I don't want to remember. Hush. Oh, am I saying this in front of the camera? And that day I was in the lab. I was in the lab. I was wearing my, my word coat, you know. Um, I'm, a, I'm a dental surgeon so then I was in school and I was wearing my white coat and then a boy tapped me he told me from behind that hello there your white white coat he stained oh my gosh you know what I mean I almost fainted I almost collapsed like I couldn't I couldn't even stand up where would I start from so I had to like beg my fellow females to give me their word codes I took off mine word yes and went to the hostel to take care of myself you know my dear being a female is not easy so that was my most embarrassing moment oh my god you guys are making me sincere you're making me do this okay question number nine who is your most trusted person and why okay the truth is I trust no one no 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 I trust no one in life don't trust no one no but but I chose to trust my husband I chose to trust my husband because I think that is a secret to having a successful married life if you don't trust your spouse, I don't think there will be peace. You will always be running. Oh, who has sent him text messages? Oh, I want to, he's in the toilet. I want to search his phone, you know. So, I chose to trust my husband. Until proven otherwise. But right now, I really, 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 really do trust him. But I must tell you, I trust no one. Mm-hmm. Question number 10. Nigerian movie or American movie and why? Hmm. I must confess, I love American movies. I love American movies because the storylines are unpredictable. You can't predict the, the storyline. Nigerian movies, they are so, so, so predictable and you can actually tell where it's heading. You can tell what will happen next. So American movies actually put you in suspense. That's why I love them. So that's the last question. Question number 10. So I'll be putting the link of Cynthia Pretty J TV below. I'll be putting the link in my description. Do well to go check her out. Get to know her, you know. And she is my very good friend. If you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Please do well to subscribe below. Subscribe, subscribe. Just click on it 
it's right here click on it like this video give me that thumbs up like the video and leave your comment below leave your comment below thank you so 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 much for watching peace bye bye